Hey, this is Pitmaster Jack with Chambers Medical Group, home of back band. Tonight I'm going to cook for you a bourbon, bacon, brown sugar, pork tenderloin. And how we do this is uh, get a little bit of bourbon to start with on these two, I got about a two little uh, one and a half pound uh, pork tenderloins. I put a little bit of Kentucky bourbon on them. Then you get a little bit of Dijon mustard and uh, I stick it on here. Just rub it, a good little coating here. And that'll hold your brown sugar in. About that. Now I get uh, some this nice, good coating of brown sugar. I use dark brown sugar because it'll make a nice, pretty color in the meat. Doesn't that look nice? Now, the last thing I do, I'm going to put a little bit of Batman's Best Cajun Cayenne hot sauce on it. Uh, because when you cook pork, a little bit of sweet and a little bit of heat goes a long way. So I'm doing that. I'm going to make that look real good. Next thing I do, I'm going to roll these up, put it together like this. I've got bacon on it. And I'm going to get this busher string and tie it up. Tried to put this together, tied it together with butcher string. And now you can see the uh, brown sugar starting to melt in there. And the final step now is to start seasoning this up with uh, Backman Back Rub. I've got the spicy rub on it tonight. And now we're going to go outside and put this thing on the grill. I'm going to cook it indirect heat probably around 300 degrees or so inside the cooker. I'm gonna put a little bit of cherry wood in it. This will probably take an hour or an hour and a half. And then I'm gonna come back and make a glaze out of uh, brown sugar, Dijon mustard, a little bit of butter, and some great Maker's Mark bourbon. And we'll glaze this thing, but we'll show y'all that in a little bit. This is what this beautiful tenderloin looks like once it's seasoned and buttoned up here. I'm going to stick it on this grill, just like this, a little bit close to the heat. This is what this guy looks like after about an hour and a half. And I'll put a little more glaze on it when we cut it, but uh, this is what it looks like. This is what it looks like when it's done. Uh, here's the corn we've done here. So I'm going to take this off. We're going to go inside and taste it. I'm cutting the strings off now. Getting ready to taste this thing. I've let it rest at about uh, five minutes or so. I'm slicing off a few pieces of this. I'm gonna see what it tastes like. Look at that, perfectly done. It's cooked about an hour and a half. Brown sugar on there. I can taste that, I can see it around there. And this is my glaze, which is bourbon. Third cup of bourbon, third cup of brown sugar, third cup of Dijon mustard and a third cup of butter. You can make the smaller pieces. Put a little bit of that over there. I also glazed the meat with this uh, for about 20 minutes in the last 20 minutes of the cook. That's excellent. You can't beat that. This is a final presentation of the corn. I just got through eating a piece of it. It's fantastic. This is what it looks like. Cook it offset for a while on the, on the smoker till it gets done. You can braise up these a little bit more if you want to, but this is what it looks like, and it's got the famous uh, bacony, smoky flavor. You, you can't beat this corn now. You gotta try this at home. Thank you so much. And this is Jack, Pitmaster Jack from Chambers Medical Group, home of the Batman.